Lone Star State in Houston, Texas. Nighttime baseball from beautiful Minute Maid Park. It's game four now of the American League Championship Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. Game four of the American League Championship Series is next. First base. He's out. So now here is Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Astros, the left fielder, Rymel Tapia. Now the pitch. Hey, come on, guys. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a big oh, fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right no, now. Here. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And here's the second. former first round the draft choice, Brandon Nimmo, oh, hey. as he looks at a fastball that's Nimmo. in there for strike one. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. One out nobody on. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Well at the rate he's going he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches not throw a single ball and and toss a perfect game. Obviously I'm kidding but you can't start a game any better than this two hitters two strikeouts six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. Batting third. The right field stepping in now Kyle, Kyle Tucker as he'll get caught oh, chasing a bad one there at strike one. Man that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Hey, field, Into the windup, here. here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. Two strikes. Hey, and the beat goes on, that's number 8. Hey, two away, two away. Foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. Back with more of game four on the show after this. Probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Oh, he had him fooled there. there. No balls and two strikes. Hey, I noticed pitcher's getting ahead right here. He's got the hitter down 0 2, but to this guy in the box, might want to just live on the corners a little bit more. You keep missing down the middle, something's not coming back. Up. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Wow. 
out here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And he Aye. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Got it. Good. The third baseman. And that'll bring up Alex, Alex Bregman. And he'll Bregman. take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. And we'll see if he can at least put the ball in play, something the first four men have been unable to do. Here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And with two away, here's a look at our updated playoff brackets. And the question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game? Up next, Reese Hoskins that is good. trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Hey, Looking go. forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble no now. 0 and down. 2. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Astros go down 1, 2, 3. We'll move to the third with no score. of the inning now and striding in the Jose speedy Astro. second baseman Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Rounded up the first baseline, and they'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next, it'll be number four. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Number four. Here's the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. Good fastball oh, as he count. gets the swing and a miss. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Number four becomes out number two this inning. Fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Hey, two out. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hey. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull the trigger a little bit earlier in the count. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Here standing in is the veteran outfielder, Rymel Tapia. Here's the first pitch to him. 
swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today, but they got to change their MO if they're going to compete in this one. And he gets him to swing no through that one. Strike. He's in control 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Too high. Right, that, One two. and two. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, up, I dare you. Ground ball left side. Mondesi scoops it up, and a good oh. throw gets him one gun. Stepping in once again is Brandon Nimmo, who went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good change-up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Swing and a liner. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. Now back, right here. At the plate, Kyle Tucker, as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Swing and a miss on the splitter, and it's one and two. Punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. The batter, number 44, designated hitter, Yordan Alvarez. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. Lined into right, a base hit. And that runner will hold up a second with two aboard now. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. No balls and a strike to count. Nimmo over at second. Alvarez at first, two out right in the here. inning. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here now the 0-2. Lazy fly ball out to center field. After it is Verdugo, he slides and makes the catch. A beautiful play to end the inning. And he's got one grateful pitcher after this one. A beautiful sliding catch for the third out. Game four rolls along. We're back after this. Leading up for the Astros. The first baseman, three. First offering, Reese Hoskins. Oh, no, stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Man, this pitcher is on right now. 
pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Hoskins behind the count 0-2. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. You just want to try and paint the corners. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Go up to the plate. Next will be Jose Altuve. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Both for one for him here in this one. The 1 0. It's laid hey. off, but in there for strike one. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. That Misses ball, ball two. Two balls, two strikes. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Plate now, number four. Here's a ball fought off foul off to the right. It's strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 and 2 now. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Two out, nobody on. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Red Sox one and the Astros nothing. Digging in will be Corey Lee. We'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, you might have some. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Corey Lee is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Up next to the F. Standing in now, Rymel Tapia. He looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out.
O2 once more. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. The center fielder, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. So here's Brandon Nimmo. As with two away, he'll one swing one. and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Up, up, up. Pops straight up. Mac will put this one away and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. They trail it here, two to nothing. Last half of the seventh here, coming forward the veteran outfielder, Kyle Tucker. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. Now the first pitch yeah. taken but that catches the inside part of the plate. Oh one for count. This is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality A.B.'s. Going for strikeout number 15 struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts no at an alarming no rate in baseball right now. The quick now, Jordan Alvarez. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Stepping up is Alex Bregman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Bregman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. And he falls behind 0-2. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And he struck him out. 16 for the ball game, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Red Sox two and the Astros nothing. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, three. On its way is pitch Not number there. 75. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far.
Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound. And, fellas, this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him packing. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. Oh, here's the awesome. second baseman, Jose Altuve. Baseman. Okay. As the first pitch to him is swung oh, on and missed okay. for strike one. No hits to this point. Hey, we got one right here. No, and that misses down. downstairs for a ball one and one. One out, nobody on. One and two. One ball, two oh, strikes. Go, go. Rip down the first base line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Now back. Number four. Yeah, now here we go. Into the box now, number four. And it's fouled away. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Now to the plate, Corey Lee. He'll be the first to bat here in the inning with his guys in need of some ninth inning magic if they're going to force a game five. Here's the first pitch. Corey Lee is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Fly ball out to right. Judge is there. One away. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Rhino Tapia struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Here's the first pitch. The 0 
one. At the breaking ball, called just a bit low. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. Swing and a line drive. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hold it, hold it. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile. Bring the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. Stepping in now, Brandon Nimmo, as he lifts it in the air to right field. Judge is there, and there are two men gone now. So now to the plate, Kyle Tucker. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Here's the first pitch. And he'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Tapia is off of first with two away. Last strike now for Houston. Fouled away. Let's strike this guy out. Give him some. He struck him out, and that'll do it as they've won this series, so they'll move on. Well, congratulations to them as they're now the American League champs. They're going to celebrate tonight, and then they're going to have to refocus for a run at the ultimate prize, the World Series trophy. Can't wait. For my partners, Dan Plezak, Mark DeRosa, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been the American League Championship Series.